Look at him, he's so crazy. He's crazy. He went and got the ball now. I'm trying to take y'all up slowly so I can find him. There he is. There he is. Yeah. There they go with them sticks. They love. I've never seen a dog. Dogs that love sticks so much. <laughs>
my eight month old puppy. A lot of people are saying, you know, your dog runs so funny and his form is not like um, Peppa's. Well, you must realize, first of all, he's an eight month old male. Um, he hasn't grown into his body. He hasn't filled out at all. So he looks a real awkward. And the reason why he looks awkward is because he's still growing. And he's got a lot more growing to do. Um, and so that's pretty much what you're looking at. He's got he's got to fill out. And he's probably going to get a couple more inches taller. Uh, he's going to be a big guy. So he's already big for eight months. So he's going to be bigger. And um, right now... I just try to look at the awkwardness as just part of the awkwardness as you see a 12, 13 year old lanky just got to catch up with his body and so far he hasn't done that yet. So once he catches up with his body and once he knows how to control his body you'll see him running a lot different than you see him running right now. He's not, he's, his run looks so um, labored is because basically he's, he's learning how to control his weight. And I gotta go put him back on the scale because last time I checked him, which was a couple months ago, he was like 80 pounds. And I'm sure he's a lot more than that right now. And he's gotta be over 100 pounds now. So, but I would like to take him and weigh him just to see what uh, he weighs. I think we're going to do that. Do it real soon. Just take him in and weigh him. As you can see, he likes to jump too. Maybe not as much as Pepper, but he's a jumper. And I try to let him jump a little bit, you know, just to get them, get them some exercise in. Which they really need for exercise. And it's so cold where I'm at, you guys. We just, we love the spring and we love the summer because we're able to stay out so much longer. And cold climate makes a hell of a difference when you have um, dogs. And so the least you can do is have a run um, or some place where you can go and run your dogs too because keeping them pent up inside is kind of hard on them not only on you it's hard on them as well and so you know and if you're not able to have a large yard I know you can't get out and walk all the times well you're going to have to take your surrounding and make them so where your dog can get the exercise that he needs otherwise he's going to have so much pent up energy that uh, it's going to be difficult for you to control the breed and that's any breed actually you know, they, they don't need to have a lot of pent-up energy. It doesn't make for a good dog. I mean, it doesn't make for a calm dog, I should say. So. Look at him, gonna kill himself with sticks. As you can see, the trainer's freezing. Because it is cold. But he gets a chance to run around, like I said, and Fortunately for me, having enough space for my dogs is very important. So, anyway, I know it looks a mess out there. Half of the stuff that's out there that's messy, um, he brought from somewhere. But I'll be out there later on this evening picking it, um, the things. And uh, I had to put the bucket 
up against the fence because the pig next door and him are in constant communication and they're going to break the fence down if I don't stop them. Okay? All right, so that's it. We will see y'all a little later on on the Peppa and Zeus hour. <laughs> Bye, y'all.